Hey mathematicians, let's talk about graphs and charts and what they have to do with percents. Okay, so in this lesson, you are going to be looking at a lot of circle graphs. A circle graph is, shockingly, a circle that has some information in it. It, the whole circle represents 100%. Think about it this way. When you take a test and you get a 100 on it, that doesn't mean you answered 100 questions. It means you got all of the questions right. Whether it was two questions, 20 questions, 50 questions, or actually 100 questions, 100% 100 means all of it. So when we are talking about a circle graph, the entire circle represents 100%. We're going to be looking at parts of the circle, and I'll tell you the percentages those represent, but usually you're going to have to find the missing part. So all the parts will add up to 100, and that's something you really need to know in order to solve these problems. So you might see a lot of circles right here, circle graph, but we can also put this in a chart or a table. Same idea, when we're talking about percentages, the whole thing should represent 100%, and that's a really crucial piece of information that you need to remember in order to solve for missing parts. So how do we solve for missing parts? Okay, step one. When you're looking for a missing piece in a graph, like a circle graph, or a chart, like what you see here with the favorite candy, start by adding up all the numbers you already know. So looking at this Twix, I know 12% is Twix. I know 31% is Reese's. I know 8% is Nerds, and 2% is Gum. Add, the, add that all up. I'm going to start here with my friendly numbers. That's 10. Um, these two together, that's... Uh, 43 plus 10 is 53. On my, let's try and make that a little bigger. On my circle graph over here, we have 11% plus 28% for science, plus 22% for math, 15% for social studies, reading we don't know, and spelling is 12%. When you add all that up, that's going to be 8 plus 2 is 10, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, Two, four, six, eight. All right, this is 88%. Okay, now that we already know what the total percentage is, what the sum is for the ones that we know, you're going to subtract. Oops. Where did it go? Oopsie. Subtract that sum, that 53 or that 88, from 100 because you know 100 is the total. So you would say 100 minus 53 is going to equal 47 percent of people voted for Jolly Ranchers. And 100 minus 88 is going to equal 12 percent of people who's, well not 12 percent of people, 12 percent of your time, because that's what the title tells me, that you spent on reading homework. And that's how you solve for a missing part in a circle graph or a chart.